We don't get to see what happens. And here go the Phoenix. Got seven Phoenix out. Now going to go start doing some harassment. Uh, this is where it gets really fun. I start having a great time. I slap, I slip in my macro, but at the same time, their macro is getting down big time. And here we go. Here goes the Graviton Beam. Oh, just wiping out the workers. Oh, man. I wish I'd have went a little bit faster, but that's all right. Oh, the Stalker's now coming it. in. And they bring all their units, which was very confusing to me as to why they brought all their units instead of just uh, the ones that can attack air. Uh, but, uh,. Yeah, I got very confused anyway. right here which ones I want to attack, and I, then I, I'm like, okay, now I know what their uh, unit composition is, so I'm going to go after these stalkers immediately, and then they can't do anything. Going after this next stalker, and that goes all the anti-air anti -air they have. So now I'm going to take out this Colossus, because he's almost dead already, and look how quick that anti-air is. My goodness. Even though Colossus isn't air, they're so tall that they can do that. At the same and, time, Blue's got uh, Vikings coming into our base at the moment. No, actually, he the Banshees. Banshee, oh, yeah, Banshees. Banshees now coming into our base. Do some harassment. Oh, he takes out every single one of my probes. Oh, so annoying. And right here, guess what happens? I ran out of energy. <laughs> really, really sucks. But that's okay. And you got another Stalker in here. But, I mean, one's not going to do anything. And now Sloth moving in here. He should have, I think, yeah, he has Stim Pack on, definitely. And here's the worst part about the Banshees. They now get in here. I'm trying to pump out as many as I can. And these the another thing about these Phoenix is so fast to get across the maps so they can help out. Banshees are now invisible. We this sucks so bad for anybody. But oh yes, two Scanner Banshees going down with the scanner skin. sweep. And then they move on to my base. They've done a pretty good job harassing moves. He took out his first expansion and a little bit of his first base, but they move on to my base now, and I realize it and move my troops over there. Uh, they start taking out my SCVs, but I get them out of there as quick as possible. So they just do some work on my. Um, You'll see they do some work in my command center, but my CVs get out of there, and uh, I have to hang around here because if I even get in, even anywhere near there, they're still gonna be able to kill me because I can't see them. You can see how fast those Phoenix are. Doesn't have enough map. energy for scanner sweep quite yet, and now they go invisible. So I'm gonna get in there and start doing some work on them. And yes, Banshees are now going down command center. Oh, I'm not sure if it's one of them goes back invisible, and scanner sweep should go down. Bam. That's it. I don't know why we wasted the scanner sweep on that, but, you know, we needed to get that away. That's so now, here we go. Uh, this is very important. You want to keep the harass up. Just because they harassed you right back does not mean you stop. You need to keep pushing. Oh, man, if I don't... Uh, yeah, yeah, so it's a good thing I went after uh, the Terran after this because he doesn't have very many Marines. It wouldn't have been that big of a deal. Uh, okay, make sure when you do your Phoenix harass, you go around the outside, not through the base. Uh, for any people who are new, because you will get owned. So now here we go. Graviton Beam going crazy with the Phoenix. Half my Phoenix aren't even attacking. So you have to get very close range of the Phoenix, unfortunately. But he's very slow on his reaction time. You've already got probably eight of your SCVs. Oh man, man let's go to the uh, income here. Income tab. They have dropped significantly. Oh, Stalkers and Marines going to run me out. That's okay. I'm just going to go right back over to the Protoss now. You see the Stalkers are going to frantically run back to their base. So. Oh, man. The good thing about this setup is that they cannot stop you very quickly. So, uh, I'm just going to go to work on these probes as fast as possible. Viking is coming in. Even though I could probably handle them very easily, I'm not going to bother because they have Stalkers, too. Um, so, smart move on my part. Get out of there. He saved some probes, but not enough. I mean, he's still going to take a lot of damage. Uh, Stalkers of Vikings running me out right now. And they probably think I'm going to go run around to the other side. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back around to where I was, throw them off. Sloth needs to build a base. I lost my base somehow. I guess if. I think if your base gets on fire, I guess it continues to lose health unless you're repairing it. So, I didn't know that. Just learned something else new today. But, uh. Terrible micromanagement by the Protoss, not getting his his uh, probes right back online. Um, so he only has one right here. So I'm just chilling out. I don't know they only ha they don't have any probes in line, but it just works out perfectly for me. The only downfall of this is the Phoenix cannot attack buildings at all. They can't pick up the buildings like they can the units. But still, <laughs> that would be so that dumb. That would be dumb. <laughs> that would be, <laughs> be unfair and cheap and no way to play. This game is really balanced. This is very balanced, which is very nice. Because a lot of games are imbalanced nowadays. But, uh, same moose. Oh, that, that's you, ain't it? Yes, this is me. I'm throwing up Robotics Bay. Uh, gateways. Throwing up, uh, <laughs> like six gateways, five seven gateways. Seven gateways. 
I'll have seven gateways and I'll put them all to warp gates. So just in case this phoenix doesn't work, uh, I'm going to continue doing this. And oh, I'm going to sacrifice one phoenix for the team. <laughs> so, and you see they're in the back of our base now. I've got marines running after them. You can see Sloth's uh, income tab is amazing at zero. <laughs> Pitching we'll harvesters. Look here. We'll they got a couple of what are they uh, Vikings Vikings coming to try and harass us and they do a tear I don't know what they were thinking right there because they can't attack ground units unless they're in the assault mode so they try that and then you see they move in red moves his army starts moving his army around he's got a decent army actually at this point uh, and the Terran has what four Vikings uh, let's check it out yeah check out units uh... he's got eleven Marines and five Vikings. So not a very big army. I mean, Moose doesn't have a great army either. He's got, but I mean, still though. The economic he, damage I'm putting on him is amazing. And yeah, go that, again. They move in, and so what do I do? I go harass the probe line. He does not move his probes, so I'm gonna take advantage of it. I'm very slow at getting the probes because I'm and they're I'm very attacking slow us clicker. at the same time right now. And they're terrible at micromanagement, but the Marine Rodder is just gonna outdo them so much. There's nothing they can do. There's so many of them, and now I've killed every single probe up here. Sloth is now just uh, just owning them so bad right now. Uh, he's actually going to just walk through his base because there's yeah, nothing Yeah, they, they took can out do. one of my supply pads, so and then I pull him back, and then Moose is still over here, and then... <laughs> <laughs> there's nothing they can do we right now. We have mastered annoying gameplay. We have mastered it, guys. This is this is it, and then they leave. Zitho leaves, Al Capone leaves, and that right there, my friends, is the result of a Phoenix harass. And that is game, guys. Uh, really appreciate y'all watching. Uh, subscribe for future videos. Leave us a comment with your feedback, and give us a thumbs up. Uh, I think that's it, guys. Appreciate it. See ya.